we're going to do baked pike with bacon. Say that three times fast. We're going to take, first of all, we're going to put a little nonstick, either butter or Pam, which you've heard throughout this tape many times. And then we're going to take our boneless, skinless pike filet. Lay it on top. And then we're going to come back again with our butter. Now you can either melt some butter or you can cheat and use the butter I'm using right here. Then we're going to come back, salt and pepper to taste. If you'd like, you can add a little Miss Dash to this for extra seasoning because this fish is not as salty flavored as a saltwater fish would be. These northern pike are a little more bland. A little salt and pepper. Come on top with some lemon juice. Then we want to come back with some minced onions. And then after we put our minced onions on top, we're going to come back with some strips of bacon. We're going to put this in the oven and we're going to broil this at about 425 for about 20 minutes. And like I said, check it if you think it's starting to cook a little too fast, don't hesitate to take it out. Now bacon cooks down on that, it's going to add some extra flavor to it as well. Next thing we're going to do is slide this in the oven and bake it. We're going to add a little bit of Miss Dash on top of this to give it a little color and a little added seasoning. And now we're going to place it in the oven and we're going to bake that for about 20 minutes, about 375. Now we're going to remove our baked pike with bacon. And boy, does that look good. I think that makes a big improvement on the flavor of a piece of pike. Now, if you have a long fillet like this, if you want, this is one of the fishes you can easily cut across and then take your spatula and pick up the individual servings to put on your plate later. And that's all it is to it.